Hello, it's Charlotte here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be going over five ways you can optimize your business or your brand's contact page for better Squarespace SEO. So if you have a brand or a business or any kind of company, whatever, with the physical location, and you obviously have a Squarespace website and a contact page on that Squarespace website, then chances are maybe you've covered the basics. You know, you have like some of the simple steps set up, but there are things that you can do to add to the contact page that will not only improve it in Google's mind, but also things that we can add to add to the, it's called discoverability of your Squarespace website, specifically the contact page. So this is really helpful if you are trying to get more eyes on your business, your brand, you want to show up more in local SEO. And I'm going to show you these because maybe you just didn't even know about them yet. So how it's going to work is I'm going to share my screen in just a second and walk you through kind of how to set this up on a contact page. So whether you're starting from scratch or if you're going to be, you know, improving your existing contact page, you can see how it's done. So let's take a look right now. So let me share my screen. And before we dive into that, I want to show you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist. So if you are interested in Squarespace SEO, if you're just starting out, you're kind of a beginner looking to dive right into this, or maybe on the flip side, you've tried out a few things already, but you don't know if you're missing anything, you want someone to point out all of the things that you need to consider with Squarespace SEO, then I encourage you to grab this download. It's literally one page. It's been downloaded thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So you're in excellent company with it. And you can, <laughs> you can thank me once you've downloaded it and you start seeing some great results. So Squarespace SEO checklist, I'll leave it down below, but let's dive in now on how we're actually going to, um, improve your business, your business's contact page. So I'm going to show you using like just a fake contact page on the back end of my Squarespace website. So very exciting. So the first thing I want to say is that at the time of recording this, my Squarespace website is on Squarespace version 7.0. And if your Squarespace website is on 7.1, it might look a little bit different. The functionality might be slightly similar, slightly different, but odds are it's, you know, same, same, but different. So I'm just going to show you in with this. So Again, what you're going to do is you have a contact page and we're going to start editing it. So again, this is very simple. This is just a demo fake one just for the purposes of this video. Let's keep it easy. So we are going to say something like, first off, we have to give the page a title. So contact us or I don't know, something like that. So we're going to make it a heading one, center it. And you could say something like, you know, again, like business name is a, I don't know, let's say you're a um, is a cafe located in downtown town, whatever, um, you know, specializing in X, Y, Z or something. And again, the reason why we do this is just to maybe add a few more keywords or something that you want to do, but that's not the biggest, most important thing. So let's start with, first off, we are going to go through the basics of what you put on your contact page. Again, you can style and format this however you like, but some of the basics are going to be the address. Right. So you're going to say, I don't know, like one, two, three South Street or something, <laughs> whatever. And then the city and then the area. So again, like the, I don't know, let's just say like the state or something. Right. And then you could maybe do the, again, like the, like the zip or postal code if you have something like that. So that again, you have the address. And if there's maybe like a unit number, unit, or number, like whatever, right? So you've got the address. That's nice. That's the very first thing that you do. So most people have that done on a contact page, but let's keep going. What are some other things that you want to do? And again, we can format this differently if we want to as well. You might want to do the phone number is like, you know, whatever, no, 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 no. Cool. So you've got the phone number here or phone numbers. If your business has multiple phone numbers, maybe be like, here's the main line. Here's for sales, here's for marketing or like customer service, whatever it is, right? Phone number could be good. Maybe like, you know, email address is important as well. So like, hello at company name.com, whatever. And you can either just leave it as text or you can also hyperlink it. So, you know, kind of like doing here and then like mail to, and then again, like hello at company name.com or something, right? Apply. 
And now you can see it's going to hyperlink. So if someone clicks it, there they go. So email address, that's cool. Um, you can do that. Then some other things maybe you might want to do are adding links to like your social media. So you can use like social links feature, right? So that's a really simple one. If you want to do it, you could also write it out by text. And then, um, yeah, those are some things you want to do. But another thing that I recommend as well, both for user experience, but also for generally like setting up the contact page is now we're also going to fill out a form, right? So um, like a contact form, this is great. So again, you can say like, it's on the fake contact form name or something. So you can play with like the different fields that you have. So edit form fields. Again, you can like add fields, remove them, do whatever you want. It's good there. And, you know, so we'll have a form in here. You can even say something like, you know, like, contact us, we will get back to you with in, I don't know, two business days, something like that, if you want. I don't know, just to do something. <laughs> Good. So that's the second thing that you want to do, the contact form. Um, another thing that you might want to do as well, especially if you have a physical business, is you might want to add images on your website. So, or on your images on the contact page of your business or your office or something. And the reason why we want to add images is because first of all, it's really helpful for people who are like finding your business, right? Like if they're showing up to do business with you, then it helps to like see it visually. So we can just do, I think I felt like a simple, um, we can go in through here. So yeah, like in this case, let's say I've got this basic unsplash image, right? So you could be like, oh, this is the office, right? So you would name the image first, right? So something like, you know, company name, offices in, you know, downtown town or something. I don't know, right? Or like main entrance. I don't know, whatever kind of thing, right? And then that way you drag it, you can kind of like position it in here. And then this is going to be really helpful too once you add an image to the contact page, because again, remember when Google crawls and indexes the page, now they're seeing, oh, wow, we've got some media. So in this case, now the contact page is more valuable than if it was just straight up text, you know? And again, you can play out with like the layout, you can add some information about it, right? And again, you can say something like, you know, I don't know, our offices are located on the third floor of, you know, address, uh, you know, at the corner of, you know, street and street or something, right? Like, whatever. And you can say, like, use the main entrance, like, go up the elevator and we'll see you there. I don't, I don't know, right? There, there we go. So that's the second one is to add some images. And also another thing you could do here too is if you have maybe a video walkthrough, right? Like maybe someone just does a video of like, oh, here's the office and like, this is how you get to our unit or something like that. Having either the images or the video can be really helpful from an SEO point of view. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, making sure that if you do use the images, make sure that you're formatting them correctly and you know optimizing the file name and all that kind of thing. Okay, and then that brings us to point number four, which is that you want to add a Google map content block of your address. So again, really simple here. We're going to, with Squarespace, you can just search in here the content block and you are going to click on map. Okay, and then you just fill out the, the different features, right? So again, your business name, you're going to put that in, the address, like the city, you know, wherever it is, all that kind of stuff. Like you just fill this out and then you can play around with the design to yada, yada, yada. So I won't like go into that part too much, but again, it's just a good way that again, it's showing visually where it is and you can style this page a lot. If right now you're like, oh, it's really big and long, but you want to make it like more compressed, easy. No problem. You can do that. It's available to you at any point. I'm just showing you the functionality that you want to do here. Okay. So adding the Google Maps block is good. And then last but not least, the fifth and final thing that I recommend that you do is put a note as well for your business's um, hours of operation, right? So hours of operation, right? So you could say something like Monday to Friday, 9, 9 a.m. 
to 5 p.m., closed on weekends and all major holidays or something like that, right? So that could be something, again, like you play around with the formatting, make sure that you give this like, I don't know, a little header or something. And then there you go. So that is, that's it. So you've got, now look at how much more valuable this page is than instead of maybe all you had was just the address and the phone number, right? Like it's crazy how much more valuable it is, how much more information is there from an SEO point of view. Google is going to really reward you for this. And you're going to see a bump in the, the search and how you perform in searches. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it showed you the different ways that you can edit and customize the contact form, not only in terms of improving the user experience, but also making it more SEO friendly. And as you can see, this took me a minute, two minutes kind of thing. And I was also recording, so it took longer than if I'd just done it myself. But try these out on your own website if you have any kind of brand or business or company with a physical location. And um, I know that you'll see some good results from it. So before you go again, don't forget to grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist and work your way through it. And if you want to learn anything else about Squarespace SEO or online business and marketing, growing your website, all that sort of thing, then take a look at all of the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel, on my blog, my website. There's so many resources to either help you get started or carry you on with your Squarespace SEO journey. And I'm thrilled to be a part of it. So if you liked this video, you can like, like it, um, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions or anything else you want to learn about Squarespace SEO and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.